everyone, um, this is Gareth, so now I'm going to talk about morphology, especially the zero elements in some languages. So here we go. First we have the introduction of what is morphology. Morphology is a branch of linguistics which dealing with the formation of words. Taking the example in English, the word unhelpful. Un means not, help means help, full means full of. Therefore, the word is not full of help. And another word is disagree. This means not, and the word disagree means not agree. In morphology, there is morpheme. Morpheme is the smallest unit of words. But I'm not going to talk about morpheme. But here, I'm going to talk about a subpart of morpheme. It is allomorph. Allomorph is a variant form of morpheme without changing the meaning. Before we are going to our topic about zero allomorph, let me tell you some types of allomorph. There is additive allomorph. This allomorph adds letter in phonologically, grammatically pattern and the third person verb. Other types is replacive allomorph, just like the name. It replaces letters within the word to create irregular past tense forms or irregular plural forms. Another type is suppression allomorph. It is the allomorph which has the complete change in the shape of a word. And the last is zero allomorph. It is a allomorph that has no change in the shape of a word but difference in meaning. The phenomenon of itself, also known as morphological blocking. For example, the word cut. Cut in past simple will not be cutted, but still cut. And also for the word shut. Shut in past simple will not be shutted, but still shut. Another example is ship. The word ship in plural form will not be ships, but we can add the numerical form like two ship, three ship, and so on. And for another word like fish, in plural form of fish will not be fishes, but we can also add the numerical form like the ship word for the object, or we can say a school of fish. And there are some examples in other languages, like in French, le jeune means the man, where the S of the article is realized as Z, and le vent, the women, where it is silent. In Germany, especially the plural form, like the word wagon means car, there is no change in the plural form of the word wagon and also the word faden means fret there is no change in the plural form of this word thank you for watching my video i hope you understand a little bit about morphology so yeah see you next time